What is up, everybody? Hopefully you guys have been getting out and getting some riding in with some nicer weather. Hopefully you haven't been rained out the whole time. That being said, uh, we are going to be doing a, another episode of Situational Awareness. Now, I am not continuing the videos of me riding. They have not been getting as good statistics on YouTube. Now, no one's commenting saying whether they're good or bad. So please let me know what you think if I should just stop making these or keep doing them. I'm just trying to help educate and provide insight for new riders and to different situations you may encounter what i look for how i handle them things like that since my videos didn't get the response i would like these videos actually don't get the high responses either but they are better i decided to do uh, from another compilation and this is moto madness now in these situations i just go through a clip at a time where my videos were very extensive and long so rather than keep this intro long why don't we go ahead and get started? Okay, so we are watching MT09 Katie here, who is on a Ninja H2. Very nice bike. So let's go ahead and look at the current situation we are facing. We are at an apparent intersection. And I say apparent because there is a traffic light here, which is green. So as I've said before, green does not mean go. Green means proceed with caution because you have traffic coming from the right. You have traffic coming from the left. And well, I don't know what country we are in. So it actually might be traffic from this way and then this way. In either case, it's the same thing. You have cross traffic who may not be paying attention. Now I see we are riding with somebody in the mirror there. I don't really see anything over there, but I assume this person is just following behind. But if she doesn't know them, they could jump ahead. So be prepared and be aware. I'm looking at the road. Looks like we have a little pothole here. We have a divider. I don't know if we have to cross on the other side of this divider. So you want to try and avoid the pothole. Make sure you end up on the other side of the divider. Uh, looks like the road is drying up. So it had rained recently, but if it rained long enough, it shouldn't be slick. However, if it was a very short rain, it can be a little slippery, especially over this painted area. So you want to be careful that you know, all the painted areas, when they are wet, they are very slippery. Now, I also see this is a crosswalk. So be mindful of any pedestrians who choose not to obey the laws and decide to cross when they shouldn't. But let's go ahead and see what happens here. Okay, we're looking far left, but we only glanced right. Notice this little glance. Trying to get it. I see a... Okay, so she just barely glances to the right. Now what I catch here, and she glanced very briefly so she probably didn't even see this be prepared that this person may not stop it, it's pretty simple you want to you want to acknowledge that there is somebody approaching and hopefully stopping so then she proceeds to look a good amount left and this may just be the way her camera is set up maybe she did look far right but she proceeds to look left and then whoa okay so this guy did not stop now we saw we don't see the traffic light here anymore but we saw it was green and i see red there this person is a okay they should not be there so because we assumed they were stopping we have entered a bad situation now they could slam on their brakes and stop here but the best thing uh katie can do here is stop and i see she is grabbing the brake and hopefully she doesn't apply too much pressure or anything remember you want you want to do basically progressive braking you you squeeze squeeze harder and harder you don't just grab so you apply some pressure to load up your front suspension and get traction on that front tire and then just keep on squeezing harder and harder and as the suspension moves forward more and more traction's there and then you can stop quicker so if this person keeps going and katie stops she will be safe but if she sees this person's like okay they're gonna see me and keeps going easy t-bone so we don't want that now the best way to avoid this of course is to stop however we have to be mindful of the traffic to our left it's rare that people will run a red light from both directions but you need to be ready for it and in this case 
there isn't much she can do except maybe gun it but this person's coming in pretty quick i'm gonna back it up just a little bit look like they were coming in pretty quick we're gonna go ahead and play yeah see that's pretty quick but she stopped in time and now she's yelling at him but see where they stopped if she would have kept going they would have hit her now she could have gone to the left but if they didn't stop they, they would have hit her so she did the right thing and she stopped here but she needs to be mindful of what's on her left what's going to be coming this direction make sure people are paying attention because right now this light's red but what if it turns green and someone from this direction isn't paying attention. So the idea is in this situation, get out of there as quick as possible. I understand the frustration, I understand the anger. Believe me, I do, but you need to just let it go. Life is too short, okay? Let it go and move on, get out of there. Now I see our buddies back here too. He's probably thinking the same thing. Let's get out of here. Don't argue, just move along. So they're gonna go and they shouldn't know they should have let you through but save that for another time but that's pretty much it she she stopped she handled this very well so good job bravo but definitely don't argue just get out of there this person obviously didn't care whatever she was saying and ended up going i guess they stopped hoping that she would just go realizing their mistake but since she didn't move they went that was the right thing to do now i know i said get out of there and go but the problem is she would have decided to go through here because they stopped and then they decided to start again because they're super impatient then she would still get hit so if no one's coming from the left and she doesn't have any danger to the left let them go don't risk it just let it go and then get out of there but that's it for this video like i said i'm trying to keep them short and that was not working out with my videos which i do apologize for i was just trying to do something different but uh just the youtube statistics show that it wasn't as liked so i am going back to this and doing one little clip at a time let me know what you guys think again your feedback is what matters if you don't want me wasting my time doing these please say so uh i prefer to share any knowledge and insight i can but maybe i don't do well enough to keep you interested or entertained and that that could be i mean it is what it is but you know honesty is the best policy let me know let me know if i suck let me know if it's good and if it, i should keep doing them because it does take time um it's not as much time as my other videos obviously but it does take some time so please let me know thanks for watching stay safe and keep the rubber side down thanks for watching if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I will try and answer everyone's questions as soon as possible. If there's anything you'd like to see, any tips, tricks, techniques, anything at all motorcycle related, please let me know. I do these videos for you, so anything that you would like to see, I am more than happy to do it. If you like this video, please click that thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and click the bell to notify you whenever a new video drops. Thank you again. Ride safe and keep the rubber side down.